Well, friends, the application of uh, the Mura, Muri, and the Muda, as I discussed earlier as well, talks about the scenario to manipulate learning with reflection of attaining the organizational excellence by eliminating the concept of waste mechanism. It is, as per the terminology, the system is full of formal and specialized terminology, the three M's, which actually dwells on the concepts of waste in lean and the applications about the waste in our process applicates to the very system which was actually developed by the Toyota production system which initiates the concept of waste which are activities that are necessary and the steps that are unnecessary needs to be taken in view. In modern format as we undertake at our workplace, the terms value added things and the value taking time, taking efficiency but giving no response, that's non-value add they need to be explored about as priority. So the first M as referred earlier talks about eliminating unevenness through Mura, M-U-R-A or uh, the irregularities in any operation or the process. Well, it is one of the main principles of just-in-time process and the main pillar of that Toyota production system which activates and can be implemented in any organization with performance to getting the best job done at the best operation and trying to encapsulate with uh, the unnecessary work of which otherwise needs to be highlighted as a waste. And Mura is one such type of important waste in lean and can be addressed by various countermeasures and can be leveled through the application of various principles of just-in-time and Kanban devices, which is a Japanese concept. The workflow is incorporated well by requiring members to operate multiple machines, but the target and the task is about the application of the best. Muri is unreasonable burden on people or machines. To the surprise of many, people are at times overburdened and even machines are at times overburdened. And then when they get heated up, when they malfunction, we tend to pose on the vendors, we tend to shout and yell at our workers that they are not working well and things like that. So that inertia has to be promoted. The main purpose of just-in-time approach to eliminate the overburden of equipment and as well as the people, we need to explore the Toyota production system. And what has to be done is production has to be evenly distributed in the event assembly process. <coughs> the priority has to be that work to be equally divided among all the employees and the dedication at the machine level as well. When we talk about highlighting waste within the system requiring the balancing of manufacturing to allow members to have sufficient time to get to the best of the work they are doing. With the very eight hours common to all or to the waste resource or to the maximum working, everything comes that moduled way. Muda, on the other hand, is a management term 
which refers to non-value adding activities. It is something like any form of waste in the process. Eliminating waste is one of the main principles of just-in-time process which is incorporated as a pillar of the Toyota production system to achieve excellence at the workplace. And not only this can be implemented well and as I highlighted earlier in my module, the seven resources that, were, that are frequently wasted include transportation, the inventory, the motion, the waiting of time, the overproduction and the defects. And our approach of eliminating the three M's need to be explored in this very format to the best and we shall discuss how to do it further.